Hi everybody, Emily from Charming the Birds from the Trees here. We are together at last, Kate and I. Yep. Um, we had five days together? Yes. Well, this Wednesday, one. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So tomorrow will be five days. And the main focus of our visit has been making everyday skirts from Oliver and S. Yes. Um, we did it in three days, two skirts. We did. Katie did it. No. I was the helper. You, I ironed and did um, my usual. You were the facilitator. Little um, things. She basically was my wife and took care of everything, <laughs> every meal, yeah. every cleanup, all the kids, and I sewed. But she also, when they were all sleeping, was pinning and ironing and organizing the pattern pieces and everything. And forcing Kate to work with my whip. <laughs> Get to work. Get to work. I need an everyday skirt. They turned out really well. Yes, they did. I'm happy with them. We. Um, are linen lovers, I would say. And devotees. So we decided that um, we were going to get chambray with linen in it, right? We that... chose a Robert Kaufman cotton and linen blend from fabric.com. And I think when it arrived, we were both a little bit disappointed. Um, it was hard to imagine them as garments. They, The fabric uh, felt a little bit stiffer than the linen that we've worked with, which is high-end linen. Um, the linen we were comparing it to is Merchant and Mills European linen th that's laundered and sold already washed. So Kate it's, had already made a skirt from that and yeah. that's what we were kind of comparing it to. Yeah. But now that it's done, I'm happy with it. I I'm think, happy with it too. I think that it could be easily casual or um, more fan, you know, dressed up. Absolutely. And it is a bit stiffer than we would like. It sticks out a little bit more than the linen, but I think with uh, frequent washings and wears, which we're going to be doing, um, it'll soften up. And I think also uh, we basically decided that we're going to get linen to uh, make second and third skirts with. Yeah, my husband um, is in California right now visiting his family and today he promised he would go to a verb for keeping warm and pick up a couple of, um, you know, a, f a few lengths of linen for us. Yes. So we've been gonna, narrowing down the choices. We're going to call the store this morning and um, order it and pay for it on the phone. So all he literally has to do is pick it up to make it easy for him. And then um, once it's back here in our hands, we'll decide how we're going to proceed. Um, I imagine that we're going to have to have another visit. Oh, such a tragedy. <laughs> it's much easier so difficult to sew to here. Visit. Um, I think that you have the space to spread out the fabric fully and cut it all in one go, which is really exciting. And um, especially with two of us here, it's much easier with the kids. I can sew yeah. throughout the day instead of just at night, which is what I do at home. Yeah, it is easier um, being together. I mean, anything that we do, we can get things done so much faster together. I think our personalities tend to be very um, go get them and... Um, we just don't like to hesitate. Yeah, it's like, we just, let's do just this. Do it. And I think th I was kind of surprised that we not only finished the two skirts, but we also had a lot of fun as well. We went to um, a garden, um, Longwood Gardens on Wednesday. Yeah. We went to um, a store that I was excited to show Kate um, called Terrain. Right. Um, we, then that night, after we did those things, we started the, the sewing. Kate cut out mm -hmm. the fabric and finish the seams and we put together the pockets and the <gasps> waistband. Sorry, our children are here. One sec, we're almost Hi. done. Come here, Sebastian. He can sew with us. <clears throat> um, yeah, the first day we cut out all the pieces and we're able to even get started, <clears throat> get organized and get started, wind all the bobbins. The second um, day we did the whole, all the fronts, right? Both fronts. Yes, we did the fronts and um, the sides. Oh yeah. Day. We did yeah, almost we did everything. the whole thing except for hemming it. And then yeah. hemming it um kind of took a longer amount of time. I had to run to the doctor with my husband um to check up on his surgery. And then that afternoon we went out. Um Kate's baby is turning two. So we did um some shopping, shopping for his birthday. Yeah. And then we um came home and then we finished the hemming. Yeah. So, I mean, we did other things, that, which is what I'm very excited about, that we were able to not only get this massive project done, but we were able to have fun. That's just week. it, though. Um, like, the first day, 
we didn't start till 5 p.m. because I That's drove true. down yeah. here. We did Longwood Gardens, all that. And so in just one evening, we got a really good start. The next day was the bulk of the sewing, and then the final day was just finishing. Yeah. And that gives me a lot of hope for our future skirts. We're hoping to get black linen and a color called silt, which is a, a slate gray. Yes. Dark gray. Um, and after that, I think we might branch out a little bit, but I think both of those colors are ones that we each want in our wardrobe and it's exciting that we yeah. can make it happen so soon and i think we're also really excited about the linen aspect because while i know i'm going to wear the chambray skirt a lot i think that the drape on the linen is going to be a thousand times better like what you have on your um the blue one the that blue i made one. she the made an indigo an, one yeah i think um, that this um it's strange because it reads summer when you're looking at it, but it's also a bit thick, whereas the linen is a bit drapier, and I don't know. I, I just prefer it. So, um, you know, it's not a wash. We're really happy that we made them. They were a good low-cost version of the skirt so that we could both tweak it. Emily's skirt is um, shorter than mine. Mom. There's Sebastian, yeah. yeah hi. Um, mine is more of a midi length. Mm -hmm. um, it's well over my knee. And I have a lot of coverage, and we're wearing the same size, but we tweaked the elastic in the back to fit, a, fit each of us precisely. Yes. Um, I tend to have a very, very, uh, I have no hips, basically. I have a normal size. I got all of her hips. <laughs> normal size, uh, but it's, it's bad. I wish I had hips, because it's hard to fit. No, it really is. You don't <laughs> I'm sure it is. I know it is. I know. So it's just nice that we can cut out the same pattern and get such different effects. Yeah, I think I think we look totally different. Um, we have a lot of the same clothes. Actually, the shirt that's Kate, that Kate is wearing, I have also, and I think we each have like 15 of them. <laughs> we um, each have all the colors. We have all, all the, the colors, and they're all the same colors. We're all like, the boring... guess what? The blue and white stripes are at Target. All right, go get it. Okay, I'm going. Um, so what I did today was I tried to wear a slightly different shirt so you could see the difference. Um, sorry, my finger got cut. Um, a different look uh, yeah. than what Kate's wearing. I think she looks like a ballerina. Mine is just um. a basic ballet neck shirt with the chambray, and right now I'm wearing Birkenstocks. Yes. Oops. And finger, finger, finger. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, guys. So I, I think we'll take pictures, right? Yeah. I think we'll probably that's the easiest way to show you how they look is to take pictures for this post. And um, did this thing stop? 